Hey, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be dehorning calves. Uh, we're going to be looking at a calf that was born last night. And to give a shout out to a local company, Daily Carbon, as you see up on the screen. Uh, if you want carbon done all around Ireland, uh, ring the number and yeah. So we're we're in here with a calf. Uh, this calf is only a couple of hours old. He was born last night out of this pedigree limousine heifer. Uh, a very small little calf. Uh, heifer calf. Uh, so yeah, the calf hasn't sucked yet. Uh, it got a bit of beaten last night. Uh, so yeah. So now that's all the calves into this area, and then we catch them in there and dehorn them in there. Okay, so we are dehorning calves here. Uh, I am filming, and my dad and my uncle are putting the calves into the crush and dehorning them. Uh, so yeah, we're dehorning the Charlie calves. Uh, so what we use is the crate and uh, hot iron that's uh, plugged into a cable. Uh, the way that my dad does it is he just goes in and flings out the horn. There's probably many ways of doing it. It's the way my granddad taught him to do it. Uh, well, that's what I think anyhow. Uh, yeah, and then I come up and I give it a little spray of, we call it silver spray, I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, spray it there so it doesn't get any infection or bleed. Uh, and yeah, then we let them out. And yes, this is a... Another calf going in. These are all our own Charlie calves. Uh, we have eight calves. We ha have lost three calves, unfortunately, but uh, them three cows actually went to the bar there the other day and got good prices for them. So, yeah, unfortunate, but they left the return. Uh, yeah, we'll get the calves going out in, in during the week. I probably won't get a video of it, like I said, but uh, yeah, d but we have to wait because not all of them were ready to the hard, and we had to wait for some calves. Uh, they were just a bit too young. Sometimes they don't develop horns too early, but uh, as you may know, if you have been watching the channel for a while. Uh, we're going down the route of stabilizers. So stabilizers are actually pulled, which means they have no horns. So less or less of the dehorning. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the dehorning. Just look at the calves. This is what it looks like after, like this said, uh, after what it's done. So yeah. Uh, yeah, the calves do move around a lot, even though we have them tight. Uh, yeah, uh, Shirley calf, you can see up in the corner of the screen there, my granddad's going in to have a look at all. Uh, yeah, these, these calves have been near four weeks old, I say three, four weeks old. So, yeah, they wouldn't have horns, and we had a one that's about two months old that had horns, and yeah, couldn't really fill up, fill up too much of that uh, because Kev nearly broke a gate while they was in. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just, see, I'm just so in, in this batch here, we only had two to do. Uh, we're free to do the tree all this. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. To, oh no, I don't think the tree all the sad, but two of the older sad and another lad. So these could now go out 
through this creep here where the cows stick their head through. And so, as you can see, the shed in here is a lot emptier. It's only a heifer calf in June, two breeding heifers, and a limousine in calf heifer calf in autumn. This cow is due to calf shortly. Uh, this heifer's also calved in June. We have two heifers calved in June with stabilizer bull. Uh, then we have awesome calvers in here. Uh, their calves are actually running out to run it out into a grass field or out to the shed to a creep gate. And we have Georgie the stabilizer bull. Uh, so yeah, actually, if you can think of names that we could call the stabiliser bull, that'd be cool. Uh, and the cows that we dehorned the calves from there still inside, but they're going out during the week. I don't think I'll get any video of that. So yeah. So as well, what we did the other day is we spread four loads of slurry because the, ta the two tags were full so we took two load out of each uh here's the sorry it's triple barred so if you're grazing during the summer or anything you can put the slurry down that line then the next side of slurry's down here and the cattle can eat in there the cattle can eat all of that you can still spread slurry to get nutrition on the ground so yeah that's that's what we did, four loads across three paddocks with a 3,000 gallon tanker. Uh, so 12, so he did four loads. 12 divided by three is, 12 divided by three is four. So about 4,000 gallons to the acre of slurry. So yeah, if that doesn't make the grass grow, not I did, as well as what we did, I didn't get it on camera or anything. Uh, I'll tr these Charlie Whalens here, across the way, there's dairy beef Whalens, but these Charlie ones here, this is an older heifer here, but these, we let these out today. That's an old heifer that we let back out that we'll sell during the summer. Uh, but these heifers, we let these out. These are beef stock, so there's 14, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 14 to go down the road to a bit of grazing. We rent out. Uh, it's about 11 acres. Uh, so they'll go down there. Not not all of these. There's two breeding heifers here that we're going to put in calf and sell as in calf heifers. And that black one uh, is wild. So we're not. There's not really a proper handling system there. So we're not going to put her down in case we have to get cat lid over the summer. Let's put these dairy beef stock out. That's a real nice heifer. That is a red Angus, and she she'll fat and easy because she nearly punches the fat on her. Now, but this heifer here, uh, the not that black heifer, black heifer the far side, and two black white heads out there. They're the ones that we bought. The rest of them we reared. Uh, the ones that we bought are five months younger than or yeah five months younger than what we reared but there's not much of a difference uh yeah so today we nearly there's 13 here to go down to the bottom end of the farm where it's a bit too wet to graze cows so these dairy beef stock will do a nice bit to that yeah uh these beef stock are all out of our Charlie bull, except that one and that one are limited out of AI. We bought that one as an awesome born calf to put on a cow 
and yeah that didn't really work the rest all are all are all bred except the front heifer the front tree heifers actually got off down there two of them for breeding and one's just an older heifer and then there's two smaller heifers so yeah these these will go down and then next winter blue here next winter they'll be brought in and we'll just put loads of silage in front of them well it depends if we have a good pace and we'll sell them and this one is actually a dairy heifer we're not going into dairy she was bought she's a mount billiard a french breed i think I'm pretty sure French breed. Belgian blue, another Belgian blue, two red Anguses, and loads of black white heads and Harfords. So, yeah. So, yeah, this year we are going to be rearing, we think, unless our plans majorly change, we're going to be rearing. Uh, 20 calves again uh, dairy beef calves and what we do is we keep them calves for finishing and sell our hef our heifers as stores and our bulls as whalens so yeah these are two of the ones that we bought good tall heifers but they had bad feet and they still do have curly feet uh, yeah they're what we call a black white head they are if you're not from ireland but they're really popular in ireland but as a cow uh, and as as a cow and a finishing animal so what these are is they're a mixture of they're put to a hereford bull the kind a hereford kind of looks like a bull kind of looks like that or that. They're not pedigree herefords. The bull kind of just brought out a bit more colour in them. And uh, yeah, and they are, they're really good for finishing it all. Breed in Ireland is an Aberdeen Angus. So it's an Angus cross Frisian. And loads of lads have them for finishing it all. So yeah, uh, yeah, they, that's a Harford kind of one. That's a cow kind of brought a bit more colour because it's, it's like nearly like a Frisian. And then this is a Harford out of a short horn, a dairy short horn cow, and it could have brought more of a of a I don't know what kind of it's a Harford, anyhow. And then I'll show you another Harford. The likes of this one here, not this red Angus one. This one here, she is a Hereford. That one is a Hereford that the uh, photo brought, brought more of a colour into us. Uh, so yeah, that's them out. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and think of a name for the bull uh, from me. Blue, everything, and the cattle are glad to be outside again. So, yeah.